So you have a dream to move abroad. But you need to find a job and you don't know where to start. Well, good news is you're in the right place. In this video, we're sharing with you six realistic jobs you can do abroad. Plus, we have a bonus tip at the end, so stick around. Welcome to our Jobs Abroad playlist. We've created this playlist for you featuring other channels we think will be a helpful resource for you, whether you want to know more about one specific job abroad or you want to know more about all of them. So we hope you find it as a helpful tool in making your decision. Da -da -da -da. Disclaimer. So as you guys know from our previous videos, we used to work on the cruise ships and as tour guides in Europe. But keeping up with the COVID times, we've intentionally left both of those jobs off of this list, along with being a flight attendant. But if you're watching this video in 2022 or beyond, definitely look up those three jobs as well. And you know what? Comment below. Let us know what the future's like. Have we made it? Are we still alive? <laughs> So with that said, let's dive in. So first up is being an au pair. Now you might be asking yourself, what is an au pair? And basically what it is, is a young person between the ages of 18 and 30 that moves to a foreign country and lives with a host family for a certain amount of time. And they help out with things like childcare or just doing some housework. So not only will being an au pair allow you to learn a new language and the culture of the country that you move to, but in terms of compensation, the host family will cover your board and lodging and give you a monthly stipend. The au pair agency will also help you sort out all your visas in order to get the legality for the country that you're going to work at. Job number two, teaching English. So there's a bunch of different courses that you can do, but the most common one is TEFL, teaching English as a foreign language. So you do the course online and once you get the certificate, you can either teach online or you could go to a foreign country and teach English in that country. If English is your native language, then that definitely helps in landing jobs. So there are a number of different websites you can actually get the TEFL certificate from. And the one that I personally went with just because a lot of my friends had gone with this one is called Global TEFL UK and I did the master course for that one. And you'll notice across all the websites, they all have different intensity levels. And the master course is basically the middle level. And these courses, just a tip, can be a little expensive. My course was $500, but I managed to snag it on a Black Friday, Cyber Monday sale for only 60 bucks. So definitely look out for the sales. Opportunity number three, transfer overseas with the company that you currently work for. So finding a job abroad doesn't necessarily mean you have to quit your current job. If the company that you work for offers opportunities overseas because they have international offices, then you should definitely look at transferring to an overseas branch. That way you can live your overseas life without having to reapply for a new job. And if your company does not have international offices, you could always start by trying to find a company that you know has international offices that is in your home country and maybe try and switch jobs and start from there, knowing that one day you will be able to actually transfer overseas. So this is for all you accountants, finance, anybody in a very serious field where you feel like, oh, you can't move overseas because it's only for like the digital nomads or something. You have so much opportunity, even if you are in the serious field. I mean, Mateo's cousin worked for Deloitte, a consulting firm, and they had branches everywhere. She started here in South Africa. She went to the Chicago office. She went to the London office. We have so many friends that are, work for accounting firms, you know, the big four. And there's so much global opportunity for you to transfer internally and still keep your awesome paying job while living your dream life abroad. So look it up. Before we move on to number four, if you're getting value out of our video, be sure to hit the like and subscribe button below. Number four, apply for a remote job that allows you to either work from home or work from anywhere, also known as a digital nomad. If you have specific skills such as graphic design or IT, these are highly sought after online positions. As a digital nomad, you have the flexibility to work from anywhere, as long as you have an internet connection. So a lot of people think that when they move to a foreign country, they actually have to have a job in that specific country to be able to stay. But if you are a digital nomad and you can prove that you are earning an income and you can support yourself, like you're not just moving to the country to bum off the social services, 
If you can prove through your income that you do make money, you can apply a lot of the times for what's called a long stay visa. Um, I know for Canadians, there's something called a working holiday visa. So depending on what passport you have and what country you want to move to and live in, there's different visa options. So because the biggest perk of being a digital nomad is flexibility to work from anywhere, you might not even have to worry about applying for long stay visas if you wanna travel while you work. So if you're only gonna be in a certain country for a couple weeks, a lot of the times it falls within your tourist visa time slot. Sometimes you get three months. So if you're gonna be under that, you probably don't even have to worry about it, which is another great perk. So next up is interning at a company overseas. This could be more applicable to someone who's freshly out of college. Maybe you wanna spend some time working overseas before you settle down in your home country, but getting an internship just for a summer or something like that at an overseas company can really open up a lot of doors. Not only are you going to be meeting people at your own company, but you can go to networking events in that city, broaden your network, and again, like we said, a lot of the times it is about who you know, who can help you get that interview. Um, obviously you have to be qualified a lot of the times, but knowing people and getting this, even just a short three month internship can really open up a lot of doors for you. Number six is volunteering. This can be for organizations, for families, on farms, and it's not necessarily a money making job, but it can lead to it. One of the best experiences I've had in my life so far was volunteering on an organic farm in Southern Italy. I made a video on it and in case that interests you, you can find the video over here. So volunteering will once again cover your board and lodging just like being an au pair, except it won't have the monthly stipend. Even though you might have to sort out your own visa, volunteering is an awesome experience. Not only will it grow your confidence, it'll let you test new waters, you'll break out of your shell, but you'll get to meet a whole range of new and exciting people. And once again, if you're volunteering in a foreign country, this will open up the opportunity to network with different people in that country. They will be, might be working for full-time jobs and you might be able to kind of network your way into a job that has a sponsored visa. Just be cautious about volunteering for gigs that make you pay to volunteer. They are out there, I promise you. So be careful not to pay for something that should actually be free. Now, the bonus tip we promised you. So if you watched our moving abroad checklist video, we've mentioned it there. And if you're interested in it, you can catch it here. But it is Facebook groups for expats. Now, we've talked about this in our other video about how it can help you make friends. And if you have questions, it can help you get the answers to things like healthcare and housing and just different questions you have from other expats who have moved to the country you're trying to move to. But another thing it does is it helps you network. And if you ask people that you're looking for a job in a certain field, there's a lot of the times people will connect with you and say, hey, I work there. And companies love internal referrals because they know that their employee is bringing somebody in that they think would be a good fit. The employee oftentimes gets a referral bonus. So it's a win-win for everybody. So you can definitely use the Facebook groups as a networking tool for your job. And even if people in these Facebook groups can't help you getting a job at their company, a lot of the times they can share resources with you that makes the job search in that country a lot easier that you might not have necessarily found on your own. If you got value out of this video, be sure to leave us a like or a dislike and consider subscribing. And leave us a comment down below and tell us what job you have had abroad or what job you want to have abroad. We'd love to hear from you. Catch you later, friends.